Welcome to Libra to your love reading for October 25th, 26th of 2018. So uh, Thursday and Friday um, energy it might run over throughout the weekend. So um, let's see what's going on with you, for Libra and love. So this is um, the full moon because in your eighth house of uh, death and transformation. Um, so a lot of intensity, the things that really aggravate you, letting go, um, hurts and pains and things that might really sting when it comes to your love relationship and even joint resources and uh, when we are disconnected from them, we would like to be intimate, you know, get closer to our partner. If that might be blocking us, um, if we feel blocked in that way, it's really going to frustrate us. So um, it just depends. So that's the energy for Libra and love. Person come. Ooh. <laughs> so there does seem to be, um, as we spoke about that, sexuality, um, pregnancy, your sexual preference, wanting to reveal something about yourself or someone but not being able to do so um secrets um things that you might hold on to and uh pregnancy even in secret uh something that you might be kind of keeping from others and not really wanting to reveal it just yet um because you could still could be indecisive about it so pisces um and taurus could be someone or people that might affect you to women showing up here but um it's the energy of um birth and something where you might be having this feeling about somebody but it's not something that you can truly put your hands on just yet and some of you might be putting your hands on someone or something but uh, in secret all right um so i feel like they might be important but uh, let's see person coming towards you the person you're dealing with a so love relationship married dealing with somebody getting to know somebody or either so they want to be a bit more playful and even if they aren't around you, um, they might be doing their own thing and that's why they're not around you. So there could be a child that could be in a situation. So um, it seems like they might want to communicate or if they're not doing it again, they're doing something else with some fun. Yeah, and it seems like they, some of you could be with someone who's who you might work with on something creative, something passionate, trying to, you know, teamwork with that person, um, joining your resources in some way, but often two children showing up, two women as well. So some of you might be in a same sex relationship. Um, two males showing up here as well. So two children could be males. Um, it just depends there. Um, others of you might want, um, Well, something that just came to me said, well, I'm thinking about like, well, sexual things that could be going on where you would like to be with someone in a more intimate way. Again, it's blocking progress. Some of you may, um, you might be having twins or right? you might be pregnant with twins. So it just depends. Um, but, uh, let's see what might, you, so they're your partner. They might be letting you know that they're, um, work with me or I'm going to, you know, um, do something to work on myself right now so i might need a little bit more time so i can you know uh regain my confidence right now so they might need a little bit of space as well so what might your response be so the seven of cups is showing up which is uh trying to figure out what you actually want when your partner is looking for freedom and they might say hey, let's just be friends right now um I'm not ready for commitment. Um, this is not really going to work right now, nor I need to do something else. So your response might be, hey, well, we'll see what comes of it. I still I'm attracted to you. I still want things to work out. But someone might not really be into it as much as you're into them or vice versa. Three, five, seven of cups. For your response. See, you some of you might resort to reminiscing about a past person that you may have let go of and even though you're single or open to meeting other people there might still be someone who's uh in your energy where you're still either holding on to them or they might kind of come knocking but you're not looking at their you know looking their way um in some way um what might your love interest or partner response be so that person is um yeah, they're not being quite honest or they're doing something that's um let's think about justice or whatever. Yeah, they might have issues with uh, a job. So sometimes it's not paying you back, not really working, not being dedicated. 
just dropping the ball and not really doing what they need to do to keep the connection going and that might aggravate you a lot of times because you might want someone who's going to be a bit more you know stable even to take care of themselves is not to take care of you but to have the relationship work out in that way so they might be having some issues just falling back and kind of doing their own thing but that's why the page of um, pinnacles did come out for a new job offer that's coming through but um Sometimes they just uh, are in and out constantly job to job. And sometimes they quit them because they think they can just get another one. But that's not a good pattern to have. So um, what might be the advice for Libra? So the Ace of Cups is showing up as uh, a card of friendship. as a card of love and joy and a pregnancy as well. So some of you definitely may be pregnant. Um, and it's also a card of being happy. I'm happy with you uh, first and foremost and then being able to manis manifest things and creativity some of you might be doing something creatively right now um or something that you really like to do um what about the ace of cups so even though um when this is showing up it seems like even though you might be in love with someone um just be careful of you know temptation or jumping a gun before you take care of unfinished business or vice versa. Um, still being in love with someone from the past or being in love with someone, but they're not really, they're not ready. All right. And what is the outcome? You have a choice or decision that you have to make with somebody. Okay. Um, you got justice is two, the two of swords. Then you have the seven of cups showing up. And then you have the, um, uh, so some of you might be having a choice between fire sign, earth sign. Then you have water sign showing up. Um, what about the two of swords? Hmm. Yeah, so it seems like a yeah, someone is in the way, and it could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, male or female. Um, you got partying, we're going back and forth to partying, but whoever you might be around could cause friction with someone. It could be friends, it could be anyone. Um, you have heartbreak there. All right, so there's something or someone that is uh, in the way. And you're trying to figure out whether or not this is going to be a constant obstacle. Is this person always going to be in the way? Or are, are they always going to cause me uh, problems? Um, that's how it might be or seem to a lot of you. So um, let's see. Two cards from the fairies for Libra. Next two days. Let go. It says, as you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. So um, I feel like a lot of you might just be, you might be having a decision whether or not to hold on to someone, your past, um, to work things out or to completely move on from someone. But I feel with the two of swords, that's being at an impasse, not being able to sure, not really being sure whether to go or to stay. So I feel uh, the next two days might be really uh, tough for you, but try to let go i'm um, either you're moving on or you're just uh taking time for you right now to see how things might turn out so message for sleeper affirmations it says uh to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire use positive affirmation so as hard as it might be try to uh give off positive energy try to you know put those words out there even when you feel like you can't or your your mind won't allow you to do your best to work with that and uh, try to look at things, watch things, do things that's going to uplift you and move away from what is pulling you down. All right. So that's going to be your reading. Lots of love to you. Lots of light. Tons of feeling vibes. I wish you the best. And you can always go to the website, psychiclovehills.com. Schedule something for you. Have a good one.